Are we allowed to rebel against the rulers? One of the clearest evidences that we are allowed to rebel against the rulers is the hadith in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet said, Which means if the bay'ah, Pledge of Allegiance, is given to more than one ruler, more than one khalifa, kill the latter of the two. So if we are allowed to rebel against just a second khalifa who's implementing all of Islam, how exactly is it haram? to rebel against 50 plus rulers who rule with other than Islam and ally and collude with our enemies. The hadith just cited is a proof for an in-situ caliph to execute anyone who challenges him and nothing else. This is the plain meaning of the Prophet's words sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how the best of his companions understood them and how subsequent imams of Islam explained them. The hadith has got nothing whatsoever to do with inciting the rabble to rebel on behalf of a caliph that doesn't even exist in the first place, the singular unitary authority over all the Muslims that hasn't been seen in over 1300 years. How brazen and blasé is the way in which these tahriris can lie upon the Messenger of God. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said of himself, I have been sent with the most comprehensive of succinct speech. So who the hell do you think you are to insert into the Prophet's speech meanings he never uttered? Meanings which are the opposite of what he intended, which was to preserve the extant peace of the Muslims whilst they are united. And to lie against the Messenger of Allah is to lie against the one who sent him. And yet this shameless charlatan distorts the speech of Allah's Apostle to push the pseudo-Islamic, crypto-Shiite, neo mutazilite theo-ideology of his his butt-stained Tahriri cult. Was the bloodshed in Algeria, Libya and Syria not enough? Millions of people displaced, many tens of thousands of women and children violated, hundreds of thousands emotionally and physically scarred for life. Do we really need to see the decimation of innocent civilians and soldiery alike on the streets of Islamabad, Istanbul, Mecca, Medina and Marrakesh too? Why do these parasitic propagandists clamor for what always, always leads to the wanton destruction, killing and blood spilling in the lands of the Muslims? Firstly, because they don't recognize our homelands as Islamic lands. And secondly, it's because this Tahriri, like so many other armchair takfiri, Marxism-inspired revolutionary, is comfortable in his western refuge. He knows that were he to fly to the capitals of Muslim countries and address the people, not no king's courtesans or any president's parliamentarians, but the ordinary prayerful Muslims, if he were to declare their leaders as disbelievers and incite the common worshippers to revolt, he'd get ten colours of Khomeini beaten out of him. And that's just the religious crowd. As for the secular and lapsed Muslims, whom he thinks he can impose an Islamic state over by force, they'd permanently switch off his dim light. That's why it's from behind the protective shield of non-Muslims, afforded to him by the secular liberal democracy wherein he resides, from where his butt wiped the Harir largely incite the fitna that brings about the wreck and ruin of Muslim societies. And it is in the interest of those disbelieving non-Muslim nation states whose passport he clings onto so dearly that he does so too. <laughs> أليس في جهنم مثوى للكافرين